Welcome back to Let's Play The Feeble Files. Feeble now has a keycard that will probably let him into the junk ship, and maybe be able to turn off the magnet and get access to the space car. But he's a little worried he will have to leave before he can take revenge on his former boss. So he's going to formulate a plan to do something about that. What do you know? It actually works. Coin and photo. It's a photograph of the local star system taken with the telescope and a souvenir coin from the Battle of Lagostria. Okay. We got both those things now? We have. Coin. Photograph. Okay. Hmm, a map of the stars. Feeble wonders if maybe he could get a star spots map after all. Looks like it only takes credits. Hmm. Maybe this one? We're breaking all the rules, we might as well get an illegal pass. Hey, this is a credit. It must have been stuck in there. Ah. Maybe this time it won't eat our coins and we won't have to kick it and then confess. Maybe. A map of this star system and a junior citizen's activity pack. It's amazing what you can't get for a credit these cycles. Indeed, let's have a look at that. Company propaganda for junior citizens. Star map. Ooh. Plebis, Dio, Croesus, and Hail Bop. Interesting. I wonder if we're supposed to do anything with that. I mean, let's see if we can spot those planets, shall we? But there's no point. No. I can use it to look out on the wonders of the galaxy. Please do. That's, that's once again, that's why I pressed the I. So you can use your eye to look through it. Uh, I can't seem to interact with it once again. Okay. But more importantly, we've got an activity pack. That's exactly why we came here. Exactly and precisely. That's it. Oh, you can only go up that way, of course. Where are you, Molly? Let's talk to this fine. I don't think he talks. No, but yet I, somehow I get the impression that he's really keen on the stars. I've got something for you. See? It's for ages five and below. Should suit you ideally. Molly! Rude. Um, I think let's, let's go through. Deliver some oh, coffee. Molly, about time. Who are you? I'm uh, Mandy. Uh, Molly's at lunch at the moment. Mandy. Uh, right. <clears throat> Have you got my Omni coffee? Right here, sir. Ah. ah. The real thing. What in the name of the Omni brain are you staring at me for? I just wanted to make sure your Omnicoff was to your satisfaction, sir. Really? Uh, good. 
That's a quality I admire in people. Perfectionism. It's good to see a citizen really caring about what they do. Even if it is only a little thing like making Omni cough. In fact, how would you like to replace Molly working for me all the time? I've noticed a drop in her standards recently. I'd be honoured, sir. Thank you. Excellent. Welcome aboard. Mm. Mm, that was... Binding? <laughs> what was that? Miracle mud. What? It says on the jar that it does everything. <laughs> Stop that. You'll mess up the lovely expensive carpet. Enjoy your stay on Cygnus! Talk about behaving out of character. I hope being a freedom fighter is this interesting all the time. Who was acting out of character there, people? This is uh, this is your modus operandi, isn't it? Okay, so there's uh, is there stuff we can interact with? I can see the big chair. I can see this encoder. This might actually be something useful in this room, other than paying. It's a magnetic revenge. key card writer. Oh, so it might even be beneficial to. Ah. Oh. Six three one zero four zero eight. Nineteen different numbers. I wonder if there's something to do with these two pictures of the stars. Even using my new rebel training, I fail to see how that's possible. All right. Okay. Um, key card writer. Oh. Oh. Toggle adjust ID code. Data code. It's all starting to come together. Feeble thinks. He's the chosen one, and yet he simultaneously thinks he's been shortchanged somehow. And everything that he does is justified because everything he does is the means towards uh, one end, towards being the the savior of everybody. It's uh, quite these these puzzles are quite an expression of character. No, still no good. Now I'm going to note the number of this particular vehicle, which seems quite prominent and above the door. Excuse me a moment while I write that down. Seven, eight, two, nine, three, five, three. We're back at the card encoder. I've input the ID code from the junk ship, but then we need to work out what date we want. Uh, presumably that's today's date, so it'll be active today. But how do we go about finding out what the date is? You might think it would be on the newspaper we got previously, but that's not the case. The main section of the newspaper. Former Ministry of Galactic Uncertainty, CC Division, worker escapes from Cygnus Alpha. Citizen Feeble, 127-48-69, 
who admitted to numerous crimes against the Omnibrain, including grand treason and deliberate destruction of Omnicorp property, was sent to the Maximum Security Rehabilitation Centre 34 cycles ago. Thirteen cycles later, however, his cell was discovered empty by a security officer. He is believed to have escaped on a stolen prison coach which crashed into the planet Philb. Security forces arrived too late to prevent his escape, however, and he is now believed to have returned to Metro Prime, where he is still at large. His escape comes exactly 101 cycles after the latest hypnoscreen security system was installed in the prison on last period's Omnifest Day. Instead, we're supposed to follow uh, the series of clues throughout the encyclopedia. Stardate numbering system. The seven-digit star date consists of the cycle number and period number in coded form. Citizens with a low security clearance do not need to understand how this system works or know the current star date. And the museum exhibits. This fine example of a mongrel Batisa hybrid was first discovered during the second millennium of Omnibrain rule, living wild on one of the outlying systems of Sector 9. Easily tamed, these creatures were introduced into the community on Stardate 1240912 and have contributed greatly to the company with their specialized engineering skills that seem natural to the species. To try and work out how, not just how the Stardates are formulated, but what today's date would be from various reference points, which is a whole, whole lot of business. Measurement of time. Time is measured in standardized units known as clicks. One click is made up of 100 mini clicks. One cycle consists of 20 clicks and 460 cycles make one period. A cycle is the length of time taken for Metro Prime to perform one complete orbit of the primary star. And one period is one thousandth of the time between successive alignments of the three primary planets in the Metro Prime system. The planet Philb is the last planet within a light year of Metro Prime to remain uncolonized, and this exhibit is an example of the dominant species. Whilst they have developed in a few basic ways, since we began monitoring them on the 250th period of the sixth millennium of the Omnibrain, there has been no significant advancement. After the regulation quarter millennium settling period, it was decided that the Filbers would best serve the company as subjects for chemical research, and a permanent post was established on Stardate 0102536. Special Days The first cycle of each period is an official omni-holiday known as New Period Cycle, which comes 15 cycles after the last Omni holiday of the previous period. Omnifest. There are two other less important official Omni holidays in each period. The first, occurring five cycles after the first successful assimilation of a Class B planet into the community, is called New Citizen Cycle. The second is known as Omni Fools Cycle when executive citizens are allowed to play practical jokes on other citizens. The bulbous mitopian is an unusual creature in that it is continually evolving from one gender to another, depending on ratio of genders in the surrounding population. Whilst this system was evidently fairly reliable on their home planet, once the mitopians were accepted into the community, the resulting genetic confusion caused what is now called the mitopian yo-yo effect, it was on new period cycle, some 200 periods after their discovery, stardate 1020416, that the Omnibrain saw fit to make Mitopian culling an official Omnisport, and their numbers have declined ever since.
but I, I quite admire it on a conceptual level because it um, it works with the experience of the characters in this society. So um, I'm for it in terms of it working with the story it's telling, but as an experience, not not fun. So it should be that. That should be correct. So uh, I think I just exit then. And I should have a valid card. Let's test it out. Here goes nothing. Yes! I hope it was worth all the effort. <laughs> Let's find out. Pig Magna. And a lever. Okay, I think I know what to do. But that would be a violation of Directive Six Four Three Nine. Who cares? That's is that what passes for character development, people? Oh. I must have broken a hundred different directives today. Although most of them seem to have some sort of purpose at the time. Oh, well that's, uh, okay. Now what do we find? Everything exactly back where it was. So, um, What if I move the magnet? Can I... I've switched it back on again. I don't see how that will help. I could have fun doing this all day. On. 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 Life has real meaning when you're an outlaw. <laughs> Well, you're just getting petulant with me, people. Amazing. I've switched it back off again. Mm -hmm. Can you rotate it? I can't it do anything with it. No. All right. Uh, anything else? The skull's not encouraging. Are there any other areas? No. Okay. <laughs> You know what, let's try and interfere with the salesman's bike a third time because you never know, this time it might be different. It must be broken. Why don't you try some do-it-all mud stuff? I think I'll wait for the SBA. They're sending someone as soon as possible. I think I need a drink. I can't do anything with it. Oh, is there the... The tow cable's here. Mm -hmm. Oh, pick up. There we go. Tow cable on space car. 
nice and secure so it won't float away when the magnets turned off. Fabulous. The perfect solution. I don't know what any sass this time, people. Just as well. This beauty should do the trick. Just listen to that. Purring like a kitten. It's time to really kick some butt. Some nice stereo action going on. Now I know what this baby can do, I can get back to the task at hand. Destination, Metro Prime. Speed. Right on the limit! <laughs> to mention inconvenient. I think I better have this thing looked at before attempting any long distances. Of course. Okay, so... Limited number of places I can go. So there's a, a breakdown person coming to Dave's space bar, so let's go there. The phone, I suppose. I'm not going in there. It smells funny. Oh. Okay. Uh, what now? Maybe ask at the bar? No. No good. That enforcer is still in there. Oh, I don't think, I'm pretty sure that force wouldn't recognise you. Car. Um. There's a number plate. Screwdriver on number plate. the registration plate from the salesman's bike. Mm -hmm. And then if we put it on our car... Just a bit of breakdown insurance fraud. Yeah, <laughs> easy as that. You the owner? That's right. Nice ship, nice ship. Haven't seen one of these since they were banned. I've got a permit. Super, no problem. Let's have a look at it then. I thought you had been looking at her. Nice oh, one to dear. rent the engine. What? Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Oh dear, what? You see that? What, that melted thing? That's your main drive unit, that is. Ugh. I'm surprised it got you this far in a state like that. Is there anything you can do? For that mess? You must be joking, citizen. Well, have you got a spare? They don't make them like that no more. 
Oh, great. I might be able to patch in an old V6 I've got in the van. Will that work? Well, I'll have to install a polarity converter and adjust the phase coupling alignment, but it should hold it. Great. I'll be back in a jiffy. I doubt it'll be a jiffy somehow, though, in this game. You see, there was a, I think there was a kernel of a, a reasonable puzzle with the number plate switching, but there just wasn't the, there wasn't the hint there. If the repair person had already arrived and then refused to help you because you weren't a member... You see, the problem is that the V6 runs by a negative power supply cable and you've only got a positive access. I never knew that. What I'm going to do, you see, is run the main power channels through a polarity converter boost it through the main retros and cross-link into the neutral line via the main energy feeder. Uh, that's uh, sure to do the trick. But only if the phase coupling is aligned to the frequency of the converter. Well, obviously, uh, yeah, frequency converter phase. Uh, la -da -da -da. Well, that's it. Oh, oh. Have you finished? All done, citizen. As you can see, the phase line power converter is... Will it work? Oh, yeah, it'll work. Probably better than before. Thank you for your assistance, citizen. No problem. Good cycle. Good cycle to you. That was a real education. <laughs> Last time I was that bored was when I got promoted to head counter at the pill production lab. It's time to pick up my girl and save the universe. But that's all in a day's work for Captain Feeble, space dude extraordinaire. What will befall Feeble and Dolores as they set out to save the galaxy? Find out next time on Let's Play the Feeble Files. Don't forget to lick survive and clock the ball icon.